Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in today's video, we're going to be making a simple pumpkin using forms and fusion. Uh, so currently, I have a cold, so if I sound a little bit off, sorry about that, but I will do my best to try to get through this quickly and easily. So if you're brand new to forms, then I do suggest you check out some of our other content first. We're going to go over some of the basics here, but you might have trouble following along at the speed that we go. Uh, so for a pumpkin, first thing we're going to do is pick the correct primitive, in this case a sphere. We're going to select the top plane and then begin to make the shape. I'm going to make mine 50 millimeters and I want to use 16 longitudinal faces. We'll explain that in just a second. You can add more or less, but it does have a downstream impact. Next, what we're going to do is box select the top section and delete it with the delete key. And same thing with the bottom, actually take two sections and hit delete. Next, we're gonna to go to circular symmetry and we're gonna use eight. Uh, if you don't see a preview on the screen, just make sure that you click a couple of other options. You should see these green lines. Because we added 16 sections, doing symmetry of eight will give us an edge in between each of those symmetry lines. It gives us something to modify. Next, what we're gonna do is go to modify. We're gonna double click this edge, but I'm gonna go shift and deselect the bottom. And then we are going to pull this inward. Just pull it in a bit and say, okay. Then rotate it around, hold down shift to add to our selection, go to modify and bevel edge. Uh, I still like to go back to the relative offset, the older style of bevel edge, even though they added this new option for width. But what we're gonna do here is do an offset ratio of 0.2 with two segments and say, okay. These tooltips have been driving me nuts lately. I'm going to turn them off probably, but um, they've been popping up all over the place. All right, so now that we've got this, what I'm going to do here is double click this edge, go to edit form, and begin pulling this out to make our pumpkin shape. And then double click this one, pulling this one out and sort of making that pumpkin shape. Everything is going to have symmetry on it, which is okay. Uh, but for right now, let's just go ahead and run with that. Double click the bottom. Use the center to scale it inward. Then from a front view, we're gonna double click this, pull it down, make this more of a pumpkin shape. Double click the top, and pull it inward. And then just play around with this until you're happy with the overall shape. Once you're happy with it, we'll rotate around, hold down Alt, this is gonna allow us to extrude, and we're gonna scale down the top. Now, what you can see here is we're starting to get some creases, which are gonna be problematic. We're gonna to to deal with that in just a second. But with this edge still selected, I'm gonna rotate around and pull this down. And then left click and select okay. So I'm gonna take this edge here and hit delete to get rid of it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to start transitioning away from that tight crease. So double click the edge, go back to edit form, hold down alt, and again, scale it inward, go back to a front view or a side view, and begin to pull this up. So we're starting to build that stem. Then again, hold down Alt, pull this up, scale it down, and from a front view, rotate it a little bit. Uh, so let's see. Actually, before we rotate it, let's go ahead and clear symmetry. Now we should be able to do anything we need to. So edit form, and let's rotate it, pull it over this way a little bit. Once again, hold down Alt, rotate, and scale it down. There we go, that's our simple shape. Now the, the trick from here is to determine whether or not you're going to be building this thing out as a solid body or if you're gonna be transitioning it into a thin walled body. So what I would say is that areas where we, see, we visibly see these creases, you probably wanna go in and delete edges. So I'm gonna select and delete edges working my way around. And the main reason for this is because those tight areas are gonna cause problems when we go to thicken this. Uh, if you wanna add any unique details when symmetry is off, just make sure that you play around with moving everything. You don't want to get too much, um, you don't want to go too much into the details when you're not in symmetry. Uh, so for example, if I were to pull just this section out, it's non-symmetric anymore, which is fine because pumpkins aren't, 
but you do just have to be careful with what you're selecting. Um, everything on the bottom, probably want to get rid of these edges as well in the middle. So what we're doing is we're creating T points. That's okay in this case. And just work our way around. And again, that's just kind of giving us a transition. So we're going to finish the form, which will create a surface. I'm going to go to patch, patch the end, right click to accept, right click to repeat, and we'll patch the bottom. And then we'll stitch everything together. And so what this is going to allow us to do is have a solid body. Um, if you want to add a, you know, a hole or a pocket here so that you can add a light and 3D print this thing, um, that, that works perfectly fine. Right now, it's a complete solid model. We are going to be doing a couple of projects with these where we use a version of it that's solid. We also have an animated pumpkin that we're going to be doing that's hollow. But once you have the basic process of modeling something like this down, it's pretty quick. We did this in six minutes, talking it through. We can do it in probably a minute or less. So that way, now that you have this, go ahead and play around with it. You can create some sketches and emboss faces on the front, or you can play around with it in forms more, making it a bit more unique. But if you have any questions on this, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.